Hello friends and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. My name is Kat and I am a flight attendant with a major US airline. So I just got back from the trip you guys are about to watch yesterday. So if I look a little jet lagged, it's cause I am. Um, but you guys, I have never worked the trip that we are about to watch. This is a senior trip. And you know what? Sometimes you just need a good storm to be on your side because normally when it comes to like these international trips, you have one to two seconds to pick it up on the trade board. And I'm not exaggerating. You literally have one to two seconds to pick it up. But every now and again, you get just a little bit of luck and a storm came through this last weekend and people just don't tend to like to fly during storms. But you know who does? This girl, <laughs> this girl likes to. So a lot of the international trips were just sitting on the trade board. Like it's very rare when that happens, but I saw like London and Dublin and Santiago and Buenos Aires and like all these ones just sitting on the trade board. But by a stroke of good luck, I don't even know who was looking out for me on the cruise scheduling gods, but by a stroke of luck, I was able to get Haneda. Haneda, so Tokyo, Japan. Now I have been to Tokyo, Japan once before. I actually flew into Narita with my dad and then we trained over towards like the downtown area which is close to where Haneda is. But my dad actually grew up in Japan for quite a bit. It was like a once in a lifetime experience, like something like I could have only dreamed of that this job was able to give me that I was able to non-rev with my dad and I got to see like, you know, where they had lived and where he went to school. It was, it was just a very, very special experience. But I've never gotten to do the layover. So we are going to do the layover and you guys, this is a good one. This is a very, very good one. I'm very, very excited to share it with you. We get to do quite a bit. I don't want to, I don't want to spill too much. I'm like wanting to tell you, but I'm like, no, 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 no. I just want you to watch it and see. I basically got home from this trip yesterday. I think I got home at like 5 PM and I slept. I woke up from one to two just to eat one of the, the food items, like some of the dumplings that I bought. And then I just went back to <laughs> And then I just went back to sleep until about 9 a.m. this morning, and now I've been editing this video. So um, I'm starving right now, so I'm gonna eat something, but also I want to thank the sponsor of today's video who is about to feed me, which is Factor. So Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. So Factor comes in clutch on days like this where I am just so tired. I don't wanna have to go to the grocery store. I don't wanna have to do any meal plans. I don't want to have to do any cooking. I don't want to have to do any cleanup. All it takes is two minutes right up in this microwave right here and I'm going to have the most flavorful, nutritious meal ready to go. And I actually took one of my um, factor meals from last week on the trip with me. I don't even think I filmed it, but I took the honey mustard salmon. So I love that convenience that I can have them at home, but I can also take them on my trips with me. And I also love that they switch up the meals. Like I never get bored because you'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from. Everything including keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, protein plus, and more. So the meal I made for lunch today is the mushroom tomato and goat cheese cavatappi with herb roasted zucchini. And this one is actually one of my favorites. I've told you guys before, I ordered it on accident because it's a vegetarian meal. And then once I had it, I was like, I was just blown away. It's so good. It kind of tastes like an adult mac and cheese. They also had this one with feta, but honestly goat cheese is like my favorite cheese. Oh, it's just so good. It really is like a, a fancy adult mac and cheese. Okay, hold on, one more bite. One more bite. <laughs> So if you want to join the Factor family like myself, you are in luck because they are offering the most amazing deal ever, which is when you head to factor75.com and use code CATNESBIT50, you'll not only get 50% off your first Factor box, but you're also going to get free wellness shots for life. So you'll get to choose two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. So you guys are not going to want to miss out on this deal. But once again, thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Now let's finally head to Tokyo, Japan. Okay, welcome 
to Tokyo, Japan. That was a long flight, but a good flight. But you guys, we have 10 minutes before I have to be down in the lobby because I'm gonna be meeting with one of the speakers as well as one of their classmates who's another flight attendant based in Miami who just happened to be on the flight. We're all gonna go to dinner and I think we're going to Shibuya. If I'm mispronouncing anything throughout this video, I am so sorry. Like I mean it with the utmost respect, but I think it's called Shibuya. I'm gonna show you the room really, really fast and then no joke because this layover is only 21 hours and we have to make the most of it, you and I. We gotta see as much as we possibly can. So we gotta hit the ground running. So let me show you the room. It feels very techish already in here. Like even just look at how cool this light switch is. Oh, okay, now what am I doing? There we go. Super cute. We have the mirror, we come around, have the whole AC thing. I think I'm going 24. I think that's my, my Celsius. Then in here, ooh, the sink is beautiful. Oh, we have blinds. Cute. Okay, now one thing I love about Japan is the toilet seats. Ooh, already I can see we have some Nespresso pods. And you guys, look at this teapot. This is so cute. And then I heard um, there's complimentary water. This is gonna be a fridge. Lovely. I don't know if that's complimentary, but I know the water is. And then we have one big old bed. I love these velvet pillows. These are super cute. And then here is our stunning view. You guys, this view is absolutely insane. Okay, but the tour is over. I officially have to get dressed and hurry up and get out of here. Okay, so I am all bundled up. So this is gonna be our fit with our big old scarf. I also put in my bag. So this is my new Timu bag that I showed you guys from the haul video. If you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. But in here I have my shopping bag just in case, as well as I was told to travel with my passport that this is one of the few places you actually do wanna have your passport on you. So I have that. And what else do I have? Gloves and a hat. Okay, so let's go ahead and head out of here. So night one, we have officially crushed. It's like 10 o'clock right now. So we went over to this restaurant. I do not know the name of it. I'm just gonna put it right here. Apparently it's a chain and like there's a few different ones and I was really wanting sushi. I didn't see sushi on the menu, but they had sashimi, but we just ordered everything. We kind of did it like family style. And like when you get there, they have like a grill you can like cook on for your fish and stuff. And when I tell you, every single thing just knocked it out of the park. I don't have a single bad word for anything. And we tried so much stuff. So that's actually like kind of insane. The food here is just spectacular. But on the way back, um, we also stopped at Family Mart and just got a couple snackies that, that caught my eye for the morning, or if we just happen to wake up at like 2 a.m. or something, because that tends to happen internationally. I'm just gonna dump it out. Okay, so the first thing I got, I actually did not plan on getting because I just ate it in Korea, which is an egg salad sandwich. 
And apparently you can actually get the egg salad in its own little container. And then you can like make your own sandwiches at home. So if I wanted to do that and like have gluten-free bread, I can just get the egg salad. But other than that, I also got this Oikos Greek yogurt. I tried to find like a local Greek yogurt, but Bo said like Greek yogurt's not really big in Japan here. So they didn't have anything. They just had regular. So I just grabbed this one. I also grabbed this milk bread. I'm not exactly sure what milk bread is, but it sounds sounded really good and it feels super super fluffy and then I grabbed this coffee so this is a cafe latte and it said non-sweet on it so hopefully that one's good and then I also grabbed this one because Bo said this one's pretty good which I think is also another like non-sweet or like low sweet coffee I'm definitely going to be doing some more shopping and especially like grocery shopping so I'm just going to secure the goods up top and we will check back in in the morning. I feel like it's so funny that you can actually see the window <laughs> from the bathroom. But you guys, while I was in here, I saw something that I don't think I've ever seen in a hotel bathroom. What is this? Is that a scale? Like I'm on vacation and you want me to weigh myself? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And, and I mean, I guess I'm not really on vacation. I'm definitely at work, but sometimes this job, sometimes it feels like a vacation. Sometimes it really does feel like you are on a paid vacation. So I'm gonna do some skincare. I have been using the skincare that I got in Korea whenever I did this video and I was in Incheon. Y'all, I don't know when I'm ever gonna see that layover again, but it is so good. Everything is so good that I'm like, maybe I can get lucky and find some of it here in Japan. Do you know what I'm realizing? <laughs> I brought these to try out for my Timu video and I forgot my micellar water. No! Hopefully I have makeup remover wipes. I do not. Hand wash body lotion. <laughs> There's all this like fancy stuff with compliments. Shaving cream. Oh my God, look how much stuff is in here. So a little hair cap, some kind of like tissue, a comb, floss. There's a whole sewing kit in here and a nail kit. They have an entire shaver, you guys. And another comb, two dental kits. Do you think this is like a makeup remover? Let's open it and see. What is this? Is this a toilet seat cover? Oh no, I'm ripping it. Oh, it's a bag. Okay, well. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to just use hand soap and water and hope for the best. I just spray water everywhere. Oh no, that faucet. <laughs> what is this? Shaving cream, Never mind. I'm actually shocked they don't have any makeup wipes. They have basically everything else that you could possibly want in here. The sink is noisy. I'll just put this. <laughs> <laughs> just, just bib style, bib style it up in case I make a mess. Oh, it's actually doing pretty nice. Oh, I got soap in my eye. It burns, it burns. Ugh. This is going miserably, my eyeball, my eyeball hurts. <laughs> Gotta watch out for the eye bees. Oh, I'm scared to go back into the eye socket. I literally have water like dripping all the way down my arm. Oh, it's back in my eyeballs. I was gonna show you my impressive new skincare. And <laughs> this, this is not it. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with my serum, my moisturizer, a little bit of this. This stuff has completely changed my skin. This moisturizer is so insanely good. So is the one that I got for chip, like so good. Like it's actually kind of crazy. I'm not gonna wear sunscreen because I'm just going to bed. I'm gonna go in with my line filler. Little me, me forehead wrinkles, right in here, right in here. My little smile lines, my collagen stick. So this is what I got the girls at the tattoo shop. Now for this one, I'm gonna just go in under my eyeballs. And then I got the new one that I got, this wrinkle stick. And you can never just be too sure. So just put that all over everything. Actually, I'm gonna go back in this one and just hit the hit the rest of the face. Then I brought my little facial rollers that I got on Amazon, I believe. Yes, on Amazon. I'll link all this stuff, even like the Timo stuff. I'll link it all down below. But I'm gonna go in and just like 
facial rule. My face always swells up when I'm traveling. I definitely notice that like when I go to sleep tonight and the next morning, like my whole face is usually so puffy. But I've been seeing a lot of people doing like gua sha with like the little thing. Their face transformations are just insane. But then I've been wondering, I'm like, does it actually work? Or are people actually just getting like Botox and stuff and they're just like pretending it works? Like, do y'all have good experience with gua sha? Have you done it before? Like what was, what was your experience with that? Did it help with like any inflammation and puffiness in your face? Or do you think it's like, I don't know, let me know.